Hi, it's Sandra here. In this quick Photoshop tip, I'm showing how I use the colour dodge technique to subtly enhance colour depth, especially in areas like the face, hair and clothing. It isn't about adding light, it's a technique I often use to bring richness and depth of colour as a selective adjustment. Let's have some fun with the Snow Queen. What I want to do is add subtle depth of colour in certain areas on the Snow Queen, the lips, the eyes, the jewellery and the hair, for example. When using this technique, I like to work non-destructively, which means a new blank layer for every colour dodge. For example, one for the lips, one for the hair, the jewellery and the different areas. What I'll do now is get a blank layer. I'll come up to Layer on the menu bar. I'll choose New and then I'll come across to Layer. Now, good housekeeping is to name your layer. For example, I would call this Lip Dodge or Eye Dodge just so it knows or I know what I've done in my workflow. But I'm going to leave it at Layer 2. I'll click on OK and you can see now that a blank layer has come into the layer stack. What I need to do is get my brush tool and this is where we change the opacity and the flow. I leave the opacity at 100% but I change the flow and I tend to work low on the percentage for the flow. At the moment it's 16%. I'm going to leave that there. What I need to do is sample the colour of the lips. I'm going to hold down my Alt or Option key and I get the colour picker and I'll come into the lips just there and sample that colour and I'll come over to the foreground and you can see that now that is the colour of the lips now. I'm going to zoom up and make my brush smaller and what I want to do is just brush or colour dodge across her lips just there. Now I'm going to turn that layer off and on. And you can see it's a subtle depth of colour. If it's too strong, you can adjust the opacity. I'll come over to the opacity and I'll dial that down. When I'm doing this, it's all about subtle colour depth. I'll leave that at 100%. Now what I want to do is actually give a little bit more highlights in the braids. I want to give a, a little bit of light that lets the viewer look around for the light and shade in the image. What I'll do is come up and get another blank layer. I'll go Layer, New, and I'll come across and get Layer. I'll just leave it as Layer 3. What I want to do now is sample in her braids or the hair. I'll hold down the Alt key and I'll go for an area that's lighter, not darker. Um, and it's just a personal preference for me when I'm doing this. There may be in some images that you'll choose a colour that's a little bit darker. But I'm going to click into there. Let's have a look at the foreground. It's pick that colour. I'll make the brush a little bit bigger with the bracket keys. I'll leave the flow at 16% and I'm just going to brush in different areas of her hair here. And I'll just come over here and I'll just go down a little bit further. I'll zoom back out. I'll make the brush a little bit smaller. And then I'll come through just here on the braids. I could even come up here on the top and just add a little bit more lightness there. So I'm adding some highlights in an area. It depends on your image. Let's zoom out. Let's have a look now when I turn that layer off and on and you can really see the difference. It's like what I've called highlights within the hair. Let's zoom in again and have a look at what we could do. Do I want to add more pop of colour into the eyeshadow or into the jewellery? Let's have a look at what we can do with the jewellery. I'll come up to Layer. 
I'll go new, I'll go layer, I'll leave it as layer 4. Now what I want to do is sample the area that's in this brooch and I'll hold down the Alt or Option key. And I'll come in here now. I don't want it too deep in the flow because I want the sparkle of the diamond to come through. So I'm just going to brush over that and see if that's too strong. And I can see now it's too deep in the flow. I'll come back. I'll drop that down to or maybe even a 10. I might even drop down the flow further. I'll come up to the flow and I'll change it to maybe about a 5 or a 6%. I'll come over to the area here and I'll just brush over that brush. A little bit too deep for my eye, but what I'm going to do is drop the opacity down. And this is where I play with flow and opacity on the layer. And that's one of the benefits of working on a blank layer for every colour dodge that you've done. I'm going to now add a bit more pop into the eyes. So I'll come up to layer, I'll go new, and then I'll choose layer, and I'll leave that on OK. Now this is where I need to choose the colour carefully. If I look at the eyes, do I want to enhance the blue? And could that actually make it more muddier in its tone? I'll get the brush, I'll hold down the Alt key to get my colour picker and I'll come in and click into the eye. I'll have a look at the foreground. This is where I do not want the flow high. So I'm going to come over here, brush in over that area there and there. If I wanted to, I even could add some colour dodging on the eyebrows, but I'm going to leave that as it is. Let's come back and turn all the layers off and see the difference in the depth of colour in different areas. The first one I'll turn on is the lips, and it just gives it a subtle pop. Turn that back on. Then I've got the hair or the braids. I've got the jewellery. We've put also a little bit of pop of colour into those eyes. Now, if I wanted to add some lightness to the eyes, the technique that I would use then is a grey layer, which I'll come up to layer. I'll go new. I'll choose layer. I change the mode to soft light. And by doing that, it allows me to select fill with a neutral colour or 50% grey. I'll tick there and go OK. I now get a grey layer in my layer stack. What I'm going to do is make sure I've got the brush, change the foreground to white. This is where I will bring up the flow to full 100%, drop the opacity, right down. I only want it subtle. Might even go about a 17. And I'll just come into that eye area. And this is what I call like a subtle retouch. A little bit too bright. I'll drop the opacity down. And let's have a look. And there is the Snow Queen using some colour dodging techniques to give that little subtle depth of colour in the areas that you want. It's all about the detail and the depth that you can add to your imagery. I would tend to use these techniques more towards the end of my workflow once you've made all your adjustments and it just needs that subtle finishing touch. Colour dodging is a fantastic technique to use either in landscapes, digital art. Thanks for watching. And if you enjoy tips like this, don't forget to hit subscribe so you don't miss out on my weekly videos. Have fun being creative and letting your imagination roam.